your dwelling. Hello everyone, Crystal here again with another video and today I'll be doing a product review. Um, actually, let me change that. It's not a product review. It's actually a tag by Semid5, S-E-M-I-D-5 I do believe. And um, she asked the question, what is your favorite Dominican hair care products? And first I would like to say that Semid5 is the one who does a lot of reviews on Dominican products and stuff like that. I think it's because she is Dominican. But um, I fell in love with her videos from the jump. Um, she has very thick, beautiful hair, and her hair is a lot like African American hair. And because of her, I decided to give Dominican hair care products a try. Now, I've only tried one line, because that's just my style. If I choose to use a certain product, I want to use the entire line. And what I mean by that is the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in, everything. It has to be the exact same line in order for me to get the best success assessment in knowing if whether or not it's good for my hair. So um, thank you, 75, for the videos that you, that you post. I really do appreciate it. And for the last six months, I've been using these Dominican hair care products alone. And I like them. Now, I have to start tweaking it soon because I'm starting to see a change in my hair since the weather has changed. But other than that, I still like it. So let's get started. Okay, now the product line that I choose to use is called Crease Pillow. I first introduced this at my 5 months post BC video. I'm currently 11 months post BC and I've been using these products since then. I do not wash my hair but so often so this is still the exact same shampoo from 6 months ago. All these products are the same. The only thing that's different or new, if you will, is my rinse, which is the conditioner. And the reason why um, I still have all the products is because I only wash my hair once a week, if that. Sometimes I'll go even longer, so I don't use it as often. However, during the summertime, I do wash and go, so I use conditioner every single day. Um, so the conditioner is the one that I had to purchase more of but everything else has been lasting since six months ago but again starting with the shampoo um, I would have to say that I do and I do not like this um, I say that because it does have sulfate in it and I don't really have a problem with sulfate but this one is really really strong where it really strips everything out of your hair now during the summertime it was wonderful because like I said, I do wash and goes, and my wash and goes consist of um, co-washing, putting a leave-in conditioner, um, using oils as well as gel. So I actually enjoy using this because like, after seven days of doing that every single day, you tend to get some buildup. I mean, I'm not rinsing every single thing out of my hair the next day. So by the seventh day, it's wonderful to have this. It's it's great. I love it. However, now that it's winter, um, I've been doing protective styling, which means I've been putting my hair back into corn rolls and um, oiling it as often as it needs to be, maybe about every other day or so, and also wetting it with water. So by the time I go to wash my hair after seven days, it doesn't need something as strong as this. So if anyone has any tips in reference to Dominican hair care products of a shampoo that's sulfate free and that's easier on my hair, my natural 4B texture hair, please let me know because I am looking for something new. However, um, whatever you do choose to uh, recommend to me, please make sure that it has an entire line of products. Like I said, I don't want to just use a shampoo or just a conditioner. I need to use the entire line. That's what I prefer. So I will continue using this until it's all gone. Um, currently, since I am, um, since it is winter, I only wash my hair one time. Like I don't do two washes back to back. All I need is one because of how strong this is. But um, to each his own. Some people may may need that, may love it. And like I said, for me during the summertime, it's the best. But during the winter, it's a little harsh for my hair. So I don't care for it as much. After I shampoo with the Crissé Pillow shampoo, I then do a treatment. This is very much so necessary after using the shampoo. Because this is so drying, you need this 
in order to put that moisture right back into your hair. So it actually, if you use the two together, I have no complaints. But this by itself, it's a little too harsh at the present time with the season. But I love it. I forgot to show you the consistency of it. Here's the shampoo. Let's see if you guys can see that. And it has a wonderful smell. See that? It's clear. And that's the shampoo. Okay, and then we have the treatment. It's white, creamy. Look. Really firm. It's not watery or anything like that. Um, and again, they all have the exact same smell. After I use the treatment, I then do my rinse, which is basically a conditioner. Um, they call it a rinse. And this is thick as well. It just happened to be some right there on the top. Thick conditioner, good stuff. I actually really love this for my wash and goes. It makes my hair feel very, very moisturized as if, if I wanted to, I wouldn't have to do anything else. Like as far as the oils are concerned, I mean, if I was not natural and if I was relaxed, this, after I shampoo and condition my hair, I wouldn't really have to do anything else after it if I was relaxed. That's how it leaves my hair feeling, as if it's, all, it's, it's moisturized. And then um, the next step is the leave-in conditioner. This is a wonderful leave-in conditioner. And I say that because it's thick too, just like the other one. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think I'll be able to get any out. Oh, there we go. It's thick. It's not as thick as the conditioner, but it is thick. But um, the reason why this is so great is because it's a protector. Um, like if you were to want to do a blowout or something like that, you can use this. There's actually um, a lady by the name, I don't know, I think it has something to do with a rose, a black rose or something like that. I'll post it right there. But she actually shows a Dominican blowout on her daughter's hair using these products. and. Um, I was I was really really grateful when she did so because I was in the process of trying to figure out what kind of products I wanted and I really geared towards this because of her video. Dominican hair care products are together because of 75, but to pick Chris A. Pelo because of the video that that lady had posted in reference to doing Dominican blowouts. Even though I was not using it for getting it for um, blowouts, I was just getting it because I wanted to get some new hair care products and try something different. I have yet to do a blowout on my hair. But, um, or even straighten it. I did blow dry it one time at seven months post BC, and then I put it in a, um, a puff. I'll post a video, like, right there or right there, whatever side it is. And, um, immediately, I actually blew it out just so I can corn roll it down in order to start wearing my wigs. But, um, it was just blow drying my hair. I didn't do a blowout, you know, where I'm trying to curl it and straighten it and all that type of stuff. But, um... I really like the leave-in conditioner. It has a very silky feeling to it. So when you rub it into your hair, your hair feels soft. Again, it has that protector feeling. Um, it's some good stuff. I like it. And then last but not least, you have the drops. The Crisse Pillow Drops. And these are supposed to stimulate the, your hair and your scalp and all. Honestly, it has no smell to it. Hold on. Does it? Yes, it does. For some reason, I thought it didn't. Yep, it's this. It smells just like the rest of it. But it's just like water, if you will. Take that bubble off. And you just use these drops to... I, I like to add them into my um, homemade conditioner mixes. Um, and sometimes I've added it directly onto my scalp as well. Um, but that's it. These are the five things that's inside of my Chris A. Pillow set, and that's what I like. Again, I am looking for something new, something that is sulfate-free as far as the shampoo is concerned. However, it has to have the entire line, which consists of shampoo, conditioner, a deep conditioner treatment, um, as well as a leave-in conditioner. So it needs to have at least those four things. I don't have to have the drops, but I do want at least those four um, four things but 
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to contact me. And thank you, 75, for posting the tag. Take care, guys. Bye.